Hey, noob noob, what about them cowboy bebops? How about them cowboys? Wrong cowboys. Oh. Ah, yes. We are talking about the cow boppus bebopus. They fucking scared of these guns. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, look at the, oh, no one's scared of that. I just pulled a glute for that. <laughs> They're scared of the hair. Oh god. It's so sweaty. <laughs> it's so, you are so sweaty. Anyway, we are talking about Netflix. Netflix. Why? I can't pronounce anything properly. Net- Netflix cowboy bebop. First look. Oh, wait. John Cho from. Howard and Kumar? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's the main guy? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm going to watch this. I don't think he's cool enough, though. Do you think he's really that cool? I don't know. I like John Cho. I like John Cho. Yeah, he's all right, but, like, uh, Spike Spiegel is, like, super cool. Like, I've never seen ultra it. Ultra cool. Yeah, you said you saw it. I saw one episode for, like, ten minutes. I'm like, this sucks. And you're like, I'm out. Please turn this off. I will also say that I had heard so much good stuff about Cowboy Bebop, and I, like, turned it on, and I was like, well, this is not for me. So we're, neither of us will claim to be Cowboy Bebop fans. We are outsiders on the inside. Looking in, yes. I, I would much rather watch Mahela with uh, Queen Latifah. <laughs> well, all right then. Uh, oh, it is Robin Roberts. It's Robin Roberts, not Queen Latifah. <laughs> Way to oh, go. Aretha Franklin. So anyway, there are new images to illustrate the Cowboy Bebop-ness. Yeah. And uh, I just, I, t- I don't know. I just didn't get it. Anyway, they are bounty hunters, and the the ship is called Bebop. I know that. And they're cowboys. They're not cowboys, but I guess they. It's like uh, interstellar law where they they're they're bounty hunters given contracts to track down criminals. So it's Firefly. It was around before Firefly, um, so it's it's Cowboy Bebop is what it is. Where is the corgi? We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, who else is in it? Uh, Cho and some other people. Oh, uh, Jet Black is played by Mustafa Shakir. And Faye Valentine is Daniela Panetta. Don't oh, know who, who any of those people are. Oh, Shakir was uh, Bushmaster in Luke Cage. Nope. You don't remember Bushmaster? Really? Shakira. Nope. Uh, and then uh, I don't remember Panetta. Pl- Zia Rodriguez in Jurassic World? Nope. Who's that? I don't know. Okay. Well... We're off to a good start here. <laughs> <laughs> the original anime premiered in 1998 and is very successful, apparently. Even though the entire series is only 26 episodes. Asian cowboys are dope. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. Anyway. So there's this image of them on some sort of couch. Oh, my God. Why would they have a crappy wooden table in space? I don't know. He's looking thick. Who's looking thick? That uh, Mustafa. Yeah. He a big boy. Yeah. Oh, there See, he's he is. not that. Do you think he looks cool there? John Cho he's looks not like he even de-aged smoking. like 10 years. He kind of does look like he de-aged 10 years. That's kind of weird. He should. I don't know. That dude's kind of old. Yeah, he is kind of old. I don't know. I, I'll give it. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. It looks kind of cool. Look at the maps. Is that John Cho? Yeah. Oh my god. And Reed, look at the maps. What the hell? Mm. Are you sure this isn't Jet Li? I am t- Jet Li's like 70 years old Yeah but that dude Knows his stuff I don't think John Cho knows shit I don't know I don't know But there is a dog There's a c- I do corgi. love that corgi it, And it talks it, Apparently It's a talking corgi uh, Yeah I believe right, so I'm in I believe that's the I'm story that's Is it. that the corgi is I'm alive sold. So you're into all these images There's Asians And there's corgis talking That's all you that's need all in need. life John okay. Cho shirtless And a corgi talking to me so I did want to go over some of the, the Twitter reactions, even though I am not a Twitter person. Uh, some of them are pretty interesting. It's a very tweetist. <laughs> it's tweetist of me. Yeah. I, well, let's see. They say the amount of hubris, sheer effing hubris, it takes to see something like Cowboy Bebop or Ghost in the Shell, which use the medium of animation to remarkable results and say we could do this better or on a back lot, unmatched. That was Whatever, they make a live action of everything. Who cares? They made live action Full Metal Alchemist. Like, it who was great. You, it was not, but it they was made all right. Live action Death Note with Willem Dafoe. That was kind of weird. That was very weird. Yeah, I did like the Willem Dafoe bit, though. He yeah, was great. He was weird. Yeah. Very unsettling. Uh, the biggest problem with adapting Cowboy Bebop is that a real human can't actually look as cool as Spike. I might agree with that. Spike is John Cho. Yes. Okay. Yes. 
Uh, this one I think is my favorite. Every time I see this Netflix Cowboy Bebop show, I think of the body doubles from Spaceballs. I 100% agree with that. Like the, the little princess, whatever her name is, a freaking dude. Oh with the, <laughs> he looks just like you. Uh, well, he does have the hair for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one, let's see here. Uh, this is the comparison to the anime. Ooh, so I'm she like, some boobs? I mean, yes. Where's it's the relatable. Little, there's only three of you. Where's the little, where's the little kid with? I don't know. Hair? That person might come in later. I don't know. Uh, apparently, a uh, pupper playing Ian, a super smart Pembroke Welsh corgi, who's also on the team. That's really all I care about. Look it's at the, how happy he it's is. It's the pupper. He looks determined. We'll be beyond. No one can criticize the pup. Yeah. Enhance. Enhance. Uh, <laughs> my only opinion today is that the dog is cute. Yes. Yeah. And it was weird, though. People consider it a gateway into getting people into anime. I, it was a gateway for me getting out of anime. I was like, not interested. I'd have to rewatch it again, but I'm pretty sure I was like, this is outdated and sucks. I Maybe I just wasn't mature enough to handle it yet. Although I'm pretty sure I was an adult when I, when I tried to watch it. I just I couldn't get into it. And I went back and watched Evangelion, which is like made in the 90s also. And it looks amazing. And it was just as poignant to me today as it was a when I seen it. A good gateway is Konosuba. It's a good gateway drug. Yeah, it is. Is it a drug that you would recommend others to subscribe to? I would recommend very much. If you want to have Aqua's panties fall <laughs> off like they do in Konosuba, I don't think they fall off. You should like and subscribe so to I don't our think channel. they're there. I or think these they... guns are going to come get you. Oh my god. Why do you oh, think you have... about these cowboys? Oh, jeez. Anyway. Yeah, get them guns, bro. <laughs> this is not Robert <laughs> Frank 69. This is Noob Noob 69. If you want his game tips, like and subscribe. DM us on Instagram on under o work o r k Touchdown. underscore u. I can't. It's too disturbing. Save me from this. Field like goal. and subscribe. And we're on to the next I one. I got a boob.